Well, hey there, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate those likes and subscribes. Anybody who already has, thank you. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video, as well as the link in the bio. I have many different options. If you would like to enter to win a hundred and $75. You can do that by liking, subscribing, and entering blessing. But Scorp, Scorp, if you're doing well for yourself, as always, let's pass this forward to those Scorpios who could use this extra come up. But anybody is welcome to enter to win a free half hour FaceTime reading by liking, subscribing, and entering reading. Well, I hope you're all doing well, and I hope you're vibing high and working on living your best Monday life. We are doing a uh, Scorpio, you versus them here, our Monday morning tradition. And I do have some energy pulled out just to save time. The connecting energy, fun time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. An external party is intruding on this relationship. Both of you feel like it may be time to have a little fun, like it may be time to enjoy one another. There could be a third party situation or something outside your connection interfering. This person agrees with that. You both feel as if there's something external outside of you. Children could be involved. Can't move on, needing closure, reliving the past, but... Uh, wants to have children acting immaturely or children are involved in dragging out a relationship plan b for some of you here this person have went back to someone they had children with or you have children with them and you all are on and off constantly they string you along about marriage they string you along about never you know they never give you a real relationship this person is incredibly hard to resist they feel you're hard to resist Differences creating barriers, love, ego, strife, opposite forces, gossiping, worried about others, what others will say and heard rumors about you. You could be hearing things. They could be hearing things. You all could be hearing things from the children. For some of you, this is just very immature behavior. This person is uh, well over the age of where they needed to heal and sit down, but they haven't done so. Um, they could feel you're acting immaturely as well both of you reliving the past if you're still together you can't move on from from whatever happens here there could have been infidelity cheating or something for others you're not with this person you are no longer with them because of their immature behavior because they were stringing you along here you could have heard some gossip about them you may hear gossip about them soon five of cups three of swords wow in the ace of cups uh, lots of love here. This could be a water sign or an air sign. They're feeling regretful. You're feeling regretful here. You're both having a hard time because you still love one another. But there was a lot of betrayal. This person stuck um, three swords in your heart multiple times. You've been on and off at least four times or something about that. Somebody here could be uh, lighter, darker skinned. Somebody here could have wavier brown hair. This is a situation where there's people exterior to you interfering. There's third parties. There's there's lover. Uh, there's lovers. There's friends. There's family. Outside things are interfering in your relationship. You both feel so. Moving over here to your energy, someone is secretly yearning for you, longing for you, regret. Someone feels remorse for what the way they treated you. Um, for some of you here, you feel a lot of regret. You could have done something that you're not proud of. Maybe you cheated. For others, you feel like this person feels remorse for what they have done, but you are longing for them. You are secretly longing for them. Scorpio, tell me about Scorpio's energy. <clears throat> Judgment, you're making a judgment call though. Five of Wands, because you're tired of being King of Cups in reverse. Wow, in the Knight of Wands. You're tired of being emotionally manipulated. You're trying you're tired of being um knocked out your square. Um, that you feel this person is a player, Scorpio. You feel this person uh has done the very most, and you feel embarrassed that you've accepted them back so many times, but you still love them. You you're mad at yourself for loving them. You feel they dilute the truth, that they friend zoned you. 
They could be asking you to spend time together. They could be rushing in and out for intimacy. For some of you, this person never gave you anything other than sex. And you're starting to uh, feel really regretful for allowing them to do so for so long. You feel like you're always being put in competition. And uh, things were so slow. They, they never moved. It was just stagnant. But you're still longing to be with them. It's like a soul ache. You could be focusing, focused on uh, your work, your career right now. You're accepting your story. You're accepting that maybe this person is never going to grow up. And you're journeying into the unknown, changing and lifting your vibration. Baby Luna just woke up. Hi, baby Luna. Come see mama. Come over here. She's rolling around on the back, itch, I mean, on the ground, itching her back. Come here, baby Luna. You seem to be uh, lining your, your, with your purpose, focused on work. You could have meant this person at work. You, they could have meant a lover at work, Scorpio, and you're trying to decide on what it is you want to do. Most of you are about to journey into the unknown. You're tired of being strung along, um, and you're tired of feeling regretful when you take this person back. You seem to feel a lot of regret for allowing them to rush in and out of your life. Sweetheart, we all do what we do. You know, let it go. What can you do now today to be a better version of yourself? They could be a water sign. They could be a fire sign. Moving over here to your person's energy, strictly sexual. This connection is passionate but not enduring. And wait, the timing isn't right. This person just continuously tells you tomorrow. They future fake you. It's never been the right time. They could be rushing in and out for sex, trying to control this, trying to control their feelings. For some of you, you were in a long-term relationship. You broke up and now they're coming in and out for sex. They've been doing it for quite some time. There's lessons being learned here. I've kept my love for you a secret. It's too, complicate, too complicated to explain. But I'm learning my divine lessons and I will soon be by your side. This person could be learning. They could be growing here, starting to understand. The thing is, Scorp, is what most of uh, us forget is real true healing and true elevation does not happen until disconnection happens. You have to disconnect from this person completely for you to um, fully heal and karma to take place, etc. If you're constantly allowing them to sneak in and out of your life, no true healing can happen. There's no, it, it's just you start to heal and then you get sucked back in. You start to heal and then you get sucked back in. And this person can't grow and learn their lessons either. So by disconnecting from them and allowing them to go off and uh, learn their karmic lessons, if you want this back, you can bring it back together quick, quicker and actually come into true union. Um, tell me about this person, please, Spirit. Why do they feel like the timing is not right? You got your candy cane tuna. I got my baby this little candy cane chew, and it's so tough. Everything I get her, she bites through, even when it says like tough, tough toy or tough biting because she is just such a chewer. But this candy cane, I don't think there's any way in hell she's going to be able to chew through that. Yeah, this person's healing wounds, but they could be purely sexual, no serious intentions. They're, they're healing right now and telling you that the timing isn't right, but they still want to come in and be intimate with you. They're comparing options, difficult choice, many options, but you were a love of a lifetime here. You had an eternal bond. They feel you have an eternal bond. They're just trying to figure out what it is they want and heal. For some of you, this person's healing from things in their past or healing from family wounds, childhood wounding. They're, they're healing from a past breakup. They could have lost a, a wife or a husband that they never really truly healed from. They're doing that as well. Somebody here could be wearing a black jacket. Tell me about this person's spirit. You could really like lavender or the smell of lavender. There's something about lavender. Yeah, they know they take they took you for granted. They 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 know that they did not appreciate you. Wow. This person understands that they misled you. They were unreliable and they broke promises. But something is brewing here. They're on the verge. They seem to have cut 
their losses before it got worse because they were in some prolonged grief and depression. When you meant this person, they were not in a good place. They could have lost a lover or lost a parent or, or things were going on in their life that did not allow them to fully give to you. It was external things. It wasn't you. This person feels like you have... Uh, you're a love of a lifetime like they'll never feel that way for anybody else again but things got bad for them or things got bad for you all so they felt like they needed to cut ties now where I, I where my issue is with them is not for any of those reasons because sometimes we have to go off on our own to heal is that they're still coming in and out for sex because they're trying to give you little piddle tiny love offers so you don't go anywhere why they figure things out and and that's just you know that's just very selfish behavior now, both, if both of you are okay with just having sex, well, then fine. But I don't feel you are, Scorpio. I feel you want more. Whoever I'm channeling right now, you want more. So what happens is every time this person comes in to rush right out the door, um, you're left holding your heart in your hand, feeling sad, feeling tired, energetically drained. I'm sorry for disappointing you. Accept my apology. I'm angry at myself and sometimes you for the way things uh, turned out but I need to see if there's a better romantic option true love and divine union this person knows they know you don't have to show them you don't have to tell them but what they're doing is trying to figure out are they happier somewhere else they have the grass is greener syndrome and sweetheart there's nothing you could have done this person feels like you were everything to them and they still took you for granted because hurt people hurt people Scorpio that is why this person has been depressed they've been in prolonged grief and they never dealt with any of their wounds before and so it is bled all over you oh tell me tell me why this person feels like the timing's not right what is going on in their life please full energy because this person's a free spirit. They're, they could be finding a new job here. Knight of Cups in reverse. Wow. Two of Cups in reverse. The Page of Cups. This person could be going through a breakup. A lot of water here and earth. Aquarian energy. This person could be going through a breakup with somebody else as well, Scorpio. They have some unhealthy attachment. They've been juggling. They may be trying to step away from a third party trying to step away from a situation they got their self involved in so they feel like the timing isn't right there there's there's lack of direction though they want a five of wands in reverse restore harmony with you queen of cups because they love you look at you they feel like you are standing here in your beautiful watery energy scorpio somebody here could have a black cat they really do and they want to restore harmony but for one reason or another there there's a lack of direction and they're depressed they're trying to figure it out is what they're doing they're trying to uh, either walk away from a, another option here or they have to walk away from family and friends because they don't like you they may have to go up against a lot to be with you and they're trying to figure out if they're strong enough to do that they're really depressed what are they about to do spirit why breaking point they're losing emotional strength here six of pentacles energy they've been breadcrumbing you here king of pentacles Mm, gaining wisdom the three of cups in the in and gaining wisdom here waning moon this person here in the next three to four weeks is is about to reach out they're losing emotional strength they could have heard something um, from your friend group they could have seen something on your social this person could have already been married and they're going through some kind of breakup for some they were dealing with a a karmic for others this person wants to come in and have something stable uh, king of Pentacles here male or female they want to actually give to this they're gaining a lot of wisdom and learning a lot of lessons here I like it I feel this person may have an issue with um, still being depressed and the grass is greener syndrome but they seem to be stepping away from that vibe they're coming out of that energy they're starting to see here they're learning lessons 
their energy does not lie. If this person comes back and you feel like they are the same old person they were when they left, then I would be really careful. But if they come back and you want this back together, Scorpio, and you can tell that they're learning lessons and they're trying to raise their, their vibration, I believe in redemption. Tell me, what is the animal oracle that we can, um, what is the advice? Love in transition. You have found your soulmate or they are just around the corner. Remember that when two souls are destined to be together, they will always find their way back to one another. All those things you have had to go through will soon be worth it. Oh, so beautiful. Scorpio, if this was meant to be, it will be let go of the fear and the sadness live here in the present moment try to have some fun if this is meant to come back together it will you will find your way back to one another you must pay attention to the signs around you the transition may seem frightening at first but you must let go of old habits and patterns that no longer serve your higher calling they will only hinder your growth so if, if this person comes back and you all do the same thing that you have always did or you do the same thing expecting new results spirit is letting you know right now love or no love it will not work you have to make changes as well both of you are going to have to change the way you speak to one another, the way you treat one another, if you truly want this to work. I feel this is the eternal bond, and I feel that if you want this back, you will get this back. It just may take some time because they're learning lessons and growing. I hope you all have a beautiful and blessed day. It's going to be the best Monday ever. Today is the best Monday you have ever had. Love and light.